Today's video is sponsored by Veridesk. This is from the Apollo 13 mission. It's coming out like a snake. NASA spends a million dollars and the Russians are like, oh, we just use a pencil, right? This is what they call the space pen or the anti-gravity pen and it cost almost a million dollars to develop. It is one of the coolest pens that I have ever seen. Today we're gonna see what's inside of this thing. Let's go find Lincoln. He's never seen this space pen or this anti-gravity pen. Let's see what he thinks about it. Lincoln, uh -huh. I have something amazing to show you. You do? Turn off your game, you gotta see this. Okay. That looks awesome. It looks like a bullet. These are the pens that they designed for space. Space pen. You can write in underwater. You could write in a what? vacuum chamber. Underwater? Underwater. How does that even work? Most pens you can't write upside down with. This one you can. Gravity doesn't matter with this pen. Why in the world do you need to spend over a million dollars to use a pen in space when you could just use a pencil? I wanted to talk to a NASA scientist or a former NASA scientist. So uh, we reached out to our friend, Mark Rover. You know, the guy that used to work for NASA and uh, he uh, makes really cool videos on YouTube because he's a lot smarter than us, but we're a little bit early. So this is a good moment to talk about our sponsors. This part of the video is sponsored by Verydesk. We have the Verydesk Pro Plus 36. Verydesk makes office furniture simple, like magic. Boom, and standing you desk. Stand you can stand up, play video games, do your work, edit videos, and you can be standing up. Or if you're like, oh man, I need to sit down now. You can easily just go in and lower it. According to a recent study in the British Medical Journal, this is legitimate stuff, they found that employees that used the sit-stand desk were actually less fatigued at work, they performed better, and they had an overall better quality of life. That's science. That's science, <laughs> yeah. They went through 22 different iterations before they even sold their first very desk. And you can feel that when you're raising it or lowering it, it clicks into place. Look how smooth that is. Look how close you can get it to your face. Verydesk is the leading brand when it comes to standing desks. So if you'd like to get one, go to verydesk.com or click on the link in the description and you can check it out and get your own. They are really cool. When Lincoln's standing, I realize how tall he's getting and that pretty soon he's gonna be as tall as me. It makes me a little sad because he's just my little guy. I'm trying, I want to. He's just my little guy, now he's so tall. <laughs> Okay, paper. We need paper. Paper. Right there. Hold on, hold on. Hurry. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Right. Will it write? Okay, so very, yeah, so it, start, it started out like it could write, but then once it, the water got into it, it stopped working. Hurry and do it with the space pen. Go. Difference. It just keeps on going. Yep. Lincoln, hi there. What? It keeps working. No way. It won't stop. You're good at writing, Lincoln. Thank you. Next test is going to be the upside down test. Does this work upside down? This one? We know the space pen works. Lincoln, yeah. does that one work? Okay. Works. Both pens work. Can confirm. Lincoln, draw upside down. It's got to be upside down. Okay, completely upside down, right there. Oh. Let's see how long it works. Does it stop working on you? Yes. Yup. Did it stop? It's done. Yeah, it's it's not it's not gonna stop. I think test number two has proven that you can use the space pen a lot more effectively upside down, drawing squiggly lines yes. than the everyday pen that you might be using. Now we are going to um, do an anti-gravity test and we're going to fly into space with Elon Musk and we're going to see if the pen writes in space. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. you now wearing a backwards hat and it's weird to yeah. see you with that. Yeah, I know, I figured I should like mix it up. We've got this space pen that 
we've been okay. looking at, we tested it out just barely under water and it totally worked. And then we tested it out upside down and it worked and we compared it to another pen. But the real question why we need a NASA scientist is like, why would they go and spend over a million dollars to create a pen in space when they could have simply used a pencil? <laughs> Yeah, that's like a classic Facebook like meme that like your grandma sends you. It's like this funny story of like NASA spends a million dollars and the Russians are like, oh, we just use a pencil, right? The real story is, first of all, both the US and the Russians originally used pencils. There was a fire that killed three astronauts, unfortunately. And after that, they really tried anything that was flammable they just tried not to send to space. There was a guy, I think his name was Fisher, was developing this pin around that same time. He invested a million of his own dollars, completely independent of NASA. So not NASA. Then NASA. NASA ended up buying them, and they bought them for like $2.20. So it's not actually a million dollar pin. They gave them like a bulk discount. The punchline is the Russians actually use the same pen now. So the story is like, Exactly true, except completely not. <laughs> it's like the exact opposite of what this story is. That is so funny. Thank you for your insight. We're going to take this and like break it open and see what it looks like when the uh, nitrogen pushes the gel ink out of it. Hopefully it doesn't explode, but... I kind of hope it explodes. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly is pressurized. That's the secret sauce behind it. So I'd be curious. Oh good, we're goggling up for safety. I want one of these, by the way. If I see you at VidCon, I expect a space pen for my efforts today. We have a space pen. We'll send you Mark Rover. <laughs> All right, see you guys. See you, Mark. See ya. Enough talk, enough learning about the space pen. It's time to destroy it. They're pretty cool to take apart. Space pen. What would happen? Oh! Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at it! It's coming out like a snake! What? Oh my gosh. It it doesn't look like ink. Like ink you think of like a liquid sort of thing. Yes, this exactly. Is like, I don't know. So it's like a pressurized gel that's in there. There's nitrogen gas on the backside and it pushes this gel up. And when you Sh run, oh, don't touch it. Should I touch it? Don't touch it yet, no. And so that's the gel that will hold up in 50 degrees below zero or up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. What does it taste like? I'm not tasting it. <laughs> There's no way. Okay. That was so easy to break. Like, I wonder if I could do it with my hands. Should I try it with my I'll hands? I'll try it, yeah. Did it. No way, with your hand. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, it wasn't coming out. Oh, look at it. <laughs> that looks so weird. It's so slow. Oh, there it goes, it's going some more. It's so slow. It says that it has, what was it, a 100 year yeah. lifespan on it? But clearly, the old ones are not super great. Let's destroy some more. I wanna see more, I wanna see another one. Oh no, I broke it in the package! No way! Oh no. I bet and someone else has done that before. Thanks again to Barry Desk for sponsoring this video and thanks to Mark Rover for being part of it and letting us know his knowledge. This is a space pen. Yep. Turns out it's very cool. And NASA did not spend a million dollars using it as we learned from Mark. Nope. The more you know. Adios amigos. Adios amigos. I don't know why I said Spanish, but... Have you ever seen those tests where they do like the psychiatry test or psychology test and like, what do you see in this black blur? What do you see? I don't see it. Tell me what you see in I this. just see a huge black thing. Okay, let us know in the comments what do you see because sometimes people see different things in those black splotches. Isn't like clouds? Like you see different things in clouds? Yeah, but this is different. This is like a psychiatry test to tell if you're a little bit off or not. What? That's science.